Hey, happy Monday out there, students. So today, what we're going to start is this conspiracy theory research. So I want to switch gears a little bit. Um, we have basically covered everything that's in the standards uh, for um, 11th grade American government. And you would have normally already taken the air test. Uh, we kind of would be into, we would have shifted modes in class if we were in school for real. So what I want to do in online is rather than, um, because I've ran out of content to teach you rather than just giving you busy work, I want to try to do something fun and interesting here to maybe switch it up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to research some conspiracy theories, okay? So let's get into it. So the basics of this assignment, you'll be researching a conspiracy theory from a list provided by me, okay? I created the list because I made sure that there is lots of information out on these conspiracy theories through a simple Google search. If you have an idea or something that you want to research that you're interested in, shoot me an email and uh, I can uh, approve it, okay? In your research, you will try to determine the validity of the particular conspiracy theory. You're trying to figure out whether or not this, your conspiracy theory that you pick has any sort of truth behind it. Okay, you will use sources found on the internet to help your investigation. You will determine the credibility of your sources. That's kind of the point of this lesson is to teach you guys um, how to determine if something is credible on the internet or not and how kind of easily uh, it, it is to manipulate people. Okay. So options. Here's the different conspiracy theories you can pick from. Okay. We have one, the U.S. government faked the moon landings, kind of the top number one conspiracy theory that everybody is familiar with. 9-11 uh, was an inside job committed by the U.S. government, also a common uh, conspiracy theory I hear constantly from people. Okay. Uh, the JFK assassination, there's lots of different theories involved in this uh, event. Uh, in your research, you can figure out what exact theory you want to look into. Okay, alien UFOs, this, uh, the Pentagon just apps, just recently, last week, just uh, released this video. Well, the video has been released, but they admitted to its uh, validity. You should check it out. Google Pentagon UFO videos, um, and you'll see kind of these Navy pilots react to these UFOs that they uh, see in the sky. Um, so that's another option you can do. Alien UFOs, Area 51, anything involving aliens and stuff, you, you are open to do. Okay. Uh, the Earth is flat, flat Earth theory. Okay. You can research that. The Illuminati control the governments of the world. So Illuminati research. You want to research uh, that conspiracy theory, feel free to. Uh, there's a deep state. This is a relatively new conspiracy theory, at least uh, that I'm aware of. I haven't heard this until recently over the past couple of years. There's a deep state or secret elitist power system in the U.S. that truly controls the government. Basically, this theory says that uh, the government on the outside is not the true government, that there's a deep state of elitist individuals who are making the true decisions and that everything on the outside is just a big show. Uh, the Federal Reserve conspiracies. We learned about the Federal Reserve. You might not know this. There are a ton of conspiracy theories about the Federal Reserve and their influence over our economy, over our government, uh, because the Federal Reserve is technically not a government bank. They're technically independent. It has created all these conspiracy theories about it. So you can look into those if you'd like. I think that's it. That is it. So this is a, a list of kind of the most common conspiracy theories. You, if you got something on your mind that you want to do, just shoot me an email. And, uh, I can figure out if there's enough info out there for you to do it. Or if you're really adamant about doing it, you can. And then if you know if you think you can find the information, that's fine. We can talk about that. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Disclaimer. Okay, I'm going to throw this out there to avoid issues. I'm not giving this assignment to give credit to any of the above theories. I'm just suggest that I think they are true, or even to suggest that I personally think they deserve debate. Okay, this lesson is meant to teach you how to determine whether a source is credible and hopefully interesting in a different way. That's it. Okay, I'm not giving you this to say I think these are true. This is just meant to be a fun and interesting way to determine source credibility. Okay, assignment. This is day one's assignment. You have today and tomorrow. This is due Tuesday at midnight. Step one, watch. The heck? Sorry, someone's up. Step one, watch the video clip and answer the questions. It's a short four-minute clip. Um, it goes over why conspiracy theories, why kind of the basis of them are kind of um, misguided, but you'll see. Watch the video. Okay, answer the video quick. Questions. Step two, pick one of the theories from the above list. Begin basic research. There's 10 facts about the conspiracy theory. Just real basic. This first assignment is just for you to jump right into it and kind of get your fingers into the research um, and kind of get, get us going here. 
And that's step four, click turn it. So again, watch the video, pick a theory, and try to find some facts on that theory. They could be facts that discredit it or facts that back it up, facts that back it up or facts that discredit it, okay? And then turn that in, uh, type it in right in that Google Doc that's provided to you, okay? And that's it. So real simple basic assignment, guys, trying to, trying to switch up class a little bit. Um, hopefully this is interesting and fun for you guys. So get this done by Tuesday at midnight. Peace!